I knew about the project because I knew that it was a project um, in, in the ether, and I knew some of the attachments were brilliant people, and I was just, as a movie fan, excited to see the movie. I didn't know I'd get to star in it and work with Clint. Uh, that was pretty insane. And it was hard to believe until it wasn't, and I got to go on the Warner Brothers lot and hang out with him and meet the real Bobby Jewell and the real Watson Bryant, and uh, it materialized very quickly, which I'd always heard about. I'd always heard that some great projects, sometimes they just kind of fall in place, and, and, uh, and now I get to be a part of one. I didn't have anything in mind uh, when I was going to meet her. Uh, I just wanted to kind of look at her and see her, and then eventually ask her questions if they weren't uh, too strenuous on her, because she must have had a lot of bad uh, uh, feelings or, or mixed feelings about this whole thing and having, having to live with your son uh, uh, being accused and then going off and uh, being and ending up being persecuted to the point where he didn't live a very long life. Uh, a lot of things had happened to her, so I didn't want to know how to approach all that, but uh, just, just could sit and talk with her and kind of get an idea. And then at the same time, it all worked out that, it, we, that Paul was going to be the guy and we got to introduce Paul. And that was f fascinating to watch uh, her uh, react to Paul. And um, it, 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 was a, some, it was something I've never done before. And I think one of the reasons I still do movies is there's something fascinating happening in, on on each one of them, and not always as much as this one. This one I liked very much from the beginning. I've tracked this film for you know, around four years, and uh, I was, was set to do it some time ago. I'm glad I didn't, though, now, because uh, I, I might not have known uh, Paul, or he might not he uh, had been ready to do it, or maybe uh, I wasn't ready to do it, who knows. But anyway, sometimes fate works in your, in your uh, favor. It's true that I think Bobby, more than anyone in creatively involved in the film, was, was the most intimidating because I just, she's, she's already been through so much that I didn't want this process to be another uh, form of a burden. And instead, she embraced it entirely. Uh, she, I'm, I'm, I admire her composure through the whole thing. You know, she's not used to... Uh, the media hoopla other than what she uh, what transpired with her son but but she's really been good about uh you know promoting the film and giving her sign off and being a creative consultant as far as just telling us things about the real story and um and i couldn't be happier with how the film turned out but, but i i have to give half that pie slice to to Bobby Jewell, her sign off on me and, and her saying that. I think her and Watt, the real Watson Bryant both said that they liked the film and that it was emotionally difficult because for two hours they felt like they had Richard back. And I heard that and I was like, well, you know, uh, whether, whether you win an Oscar or a Grammy or whatever someday, like nothing will mean more than people saying they felt like you, you inhabited the real person. That, that was ama amazing to hear that. Working with that cast is insane. I mean, you show up and I'm looking around the room and I see Misery and Mad Men and three billboards and, and Clint's entire resume. So it's, it's intimidating, but it was, it was uh, met with a lot of great collaboration. I love those guys. You know, it's an instinctive thing, uh, choosing people. Uh, you just kind of get the feeling that that's right. And, 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 and I've said before that it's not an intellectual medium it's a emotional uh, thing and you, you you use your you use your emotions you, you, you look meet somebody and say uh, you know you see Kathy, Kathy Bates you, maybe you've seen her you get an image of her in misery or, or something and then it, it, then you find out that later I mean you've then you, you have to erase that and kind of say well, how would she be in this role here and uh, uh, but these people are all have done so many good things uh, that um, that you can always use that as reference that they're just really good performers. Then that from then on to say now how would they be in that character? Because there's many other good performers out there, but they wouldn't be able to 
before that character grow because they don't have uh, similar characteristics and it be much more of a strain for them. So you just have to kind of use your uh, imagination. I hope people take away, I hope they're entertained because that's part of why we go to the movies and I hope uh, they're forced to re-examine how they see other people. Yeah, and I hope that, they, yeah, I hope that people will think before they accuse people and, uh, and give people the benefit of their doubt.